in this problem it is given that three identical spheres they are all of similar shape and similar size they are also made up of the same material their densities are same each of them having a radius r are arranged such that each one is touching the other two each one is touching the other two that means each sphere is in contact with the other spheres if they were arranged like that what is the center of mass of the system that is the question that is asked so here we shall first of all see how does they can be arranged this way if one sphere is like this if another sphere is like this we shall keep the third sphere like this only then only it is possible that each sphere is in contact with the other two spheres now the question is from where we can calculate the center of mass we can measure the center of mass from any of the center of uh, any of the system we can measure center of mass from center of any one sphere for example let us consider this as a reference from which we want to calculate the center of mass automatically that will become the origin of our problem of our coordinate system from where we are going to calculate the center of mass this will be the x axis this will be the y axis now instead of these three bodies we shall imagine three points where the mass is concentrated that is nothing but the center of each corresponding sphere now i want to calculate the coordinates of these particles each one as having an identical mass so in the place of the mass as mass is not given in the problem basing on the definition of density density equal to mass by volume therefore mass equal to i can write volume into density being a sphere we can write volume as 4 by 3 pi r cube get the density equal to rho this is the value for all the masses because it is given that uh, they are all identically same m values now we know m1 equal to m2 equal to m3 equal to this much i want to know the locations then we can say the location of the first one x1 y1 because we are treating that itself as an origin from where we are calculating the center of mass its value equal to 0 and 0 now i want to write uh, x2 y2 location location of the second body location of the center of mass of the second body we know from the origin this is one distance r this is one more distance r so the total distance from the origin is 2 r and 0 and now i would like to write what is the value of x3 and y3 is so if you draw a line from the location it is like this so it is very clear that from the origin the value of the first body is very clearly this is whatever value of x3 is right this is whatever value of y3 is so it is very clear that x3 is nothing but the radius of the sphere this is nothing but the value of x3 to get the value of y3 again we shall consider the right angle triangle that is there this is value this value is r this value is r therefore the total value is 2r so i want to say basing on the pythagoras law y3 square equal to 2r whole square minus r square therefore 4r square minus r square nothing but 3r square 
so y3 is nothing but equal to root 3 times of r therefore the coordinates of the third particle is r and root 3 times of r let us check once again how it is root 3 times of r we are identifying try to identify this position this position how much it is there where it is there on the x axis this is the location of its x axis from the coordinate system this distance is nothing but the radius of this sphere itself this distance i want to calculate as y3 but be clear that this is not 2r because this is not the distance between the two centers of any two spheres this is the distance between the centers of two spheres therefore this is definitely equal to 2r i know this value i know this value i want this value in this right angle triangle so we have applied the pythagoras rule we have get the value of y3 therefore we know the coordinates of x3 and y3 also now identifying center of mass is a simple task just by substituting the values in the formula yeah let us substitute the values in the formula xcm could be written like m1 x1 plus m2 x2 and m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 m1 x1 is 0 because x1 is at the origin m2 x2 is in the place of uh, m i can write 4 by 3 r cube of uh, r but that is common 4 by 3 pi rho is common for both numerator and denominator it will be getting cancelled therefore in the place of the m2 i can write any mass in the place of any mass i can write nothing but r cube because all other terms are common they will be getting cancelled both in numerator and denominator r2 is nothing but equal to value is 2r m3 is also r cube x3 is nothing but equal to r by m1 plus m2 plus m3 is r cube plus r cube plus r cube 3 r cube now this r cube also gets cancelled 2 r plus r by 3 that is nothing but equal to 3 r by 3 that is nothing but equal to r itself that means center of mass of the first particle along the x axis is at the r value that is at the r of any of the first sphere the first sphere similarly let us write ycm value we know the value m1 y1 m2 y2 m3 y3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 m1 y1 equal to 0 m2 y2 equals also equal to 0 because both the centers are at the on the x axis first one is at the origin in the place of m3 i can write directly proportional to r cube because the other terms are common and in the place of y3 we have determined the value as root 3 times of r by 3 r cube so your value is r cube r cube gets uh, cancelled root 3 also gets cancelled nothing but uh, r by root 3 so if someone want to express the answer where is the center of mass in terms of a coordinate system is i can write xcm and ycm xcm equal to r ycm is nothing but equal to r by root 3